Data validation. Now here's a, here's a really neat cool tool. Anybody use data validation now? Anybody in the room? Well, here's the second biggest thing you're going to learn today after range names. So let's have a look at how it might work. <coughs> let's say we've got a little spreadsheet and we want people to enter a type of fruit in this little questionnaire, in that blue cell. But there's only there's one little restriction. You can only use the fruit that is in the official list. Right? And we want to put it in that cell there. So what are we going to do? The first thing is give that list a name. Anybody remember how we give names? We talked about it before, didn't we, with the GST and the exotic fruit? So we're going to go into, into here. First of all, we're going to go in here and give this, these fruit a name. Now what, so we've highlighted the range, and in the little name box we're going to say what? No, we want something more. We've used that before, come on. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Has anybody else got a voice? You, you're providing all the, I mean, it's hard when you have to give all the answers to everybody, isn't it? Yeah, how yeah, it is. So we're given, we're given a cell a name called fruit salad. You all happy with that? So in my little drop down box, fruit salad happens to be there. And in my little box here, we're going to put an answer. So we're going to data. You can see I go across the menu to data. And I go down to something called data validation, which is down here. And it comes up with a box like that. And it says, what are you going to allow? And, and by default, it says, well, you can allow anything, because obviously a spreadsheet wouldn't work. So we're going to drop down box, and it says there's a whole lot of choices, and one is called a list. So we're going to the word list, and it says, OK, you've got a list, and it says, where is the source? So we go down to our source, and we simply type in the name. And what name do we give it? Fruit salad. Fruit salad. And you might have noticed as soon as I push the button, you can see a little arrow comes down. You might have seen in a whole lot of Microsoft products. We drop on the list, it comes with the fruit salad. We're going to do that again, actually, because I need to put an equal sign in front of it. It's a formula. Equals fruit salad. And in the little drop down box, you can see that the type of fruit here happened to be the type of fruit there. So we can simply move the the arrow down and say, let's select kiwi fruit because that's a nice towering thing. And there we have it. So we just, in our list, we had all the list here, right? So what's happened, here's our official list. And in our formula we've said you can only use items in your official list. And we gave the, the list a name called fruit salad. And when we drop down, you can see the choices. And we can just go down and ch check one at random. Let's put in the word limes so and we can change that. What would happen if I typed in the word lime into this? Uh, you don't have to use drop down, you can put the name in there. What would happen if I put in the word lime? You come up with an error. Anybody would like to contradict Peter? Any, anybody talking today? No. That's one, that's two. Hey, we've got three, that's cool. Anybody else talking? If I put in the word lime, what's going to happen? I push the enter key and it comes back, and you might have heard my laptop say ping, it says, the value is not valid. The user has restricted what you can put in there. What's I put in the word limes with an S? L-I-M-E-S, no capital though. Did it, is, it gonna, is it gonna work? Yeah. And it, it works, right? So we've restricted what people can put in the cell to my official list. It's not capital sensitive, but it is on the list. Are you happy with that? Now let's say that um, I like to pick on Tauranga, there's no reason why, but what's the new type of fruit coming in Tauranga? Oh, Got them thinking here. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to insert a row in the middle of our box. Go insert rows. And we're going to type in here the word avocado, because that's happening. How do you spell avocado? You all happy with avocado? Yeah. Now we go back to our official list up here, and suddenly the word avocado is in our list and we can put it in there. And if we wanted to, we could sort this box here. Now yeah, we just go, we could sort it, and avocado is now on the right list. Right, so it doesn't matter. So by using these names, we've done that. Now wait, there's more. There are some steak knives to come with this little project. Because, let's go to state page two. And this fruit list, of course, could be back at your, some other yeah. pages as well, your assumptions. Which is what we're doing right now, yeah. 
So now we're on page two in the middle of the bush, or the middle of Ekerahuna, Kabobi. We've got the same questionnaire, the type of fruit. We go, remember what we said, data, data validation. What, we're going to go from a list, remember that thing, list. Down here we're going to type it equals fruit underscore salad. And we go, okay. So the name of the, and it's a formula because it's just a name, it's just a, and we go there and there's a little drop down list and there's our avocado and we put it in there. How cool is that? Wow. Right. But wait, the third steak knife's coming. Let's do this. There is more, there is more. Let's say that you're a, ta you're a tax lawyer. No, well, what's the law do you do? Matrimony. Matrimony, okay. <laughs> I go with? Yes. Yeah, that's right. So we've got a question. Um, uh, how's the matrimonial property going to be split? So we, no, not the fruit. No, well, you're going to get the fruit of the labours, but here it is. So we're going to have the word split, right? And if I go into data, a data validation, and I go in here and type list, instead of taking a source, I can type my answers in there. So I'm going to say 50 50, comma, 25 75, and the last one is going to be 40 30. 30. And in, so I've got three choices. You only can answer this question three ways. And you can see I'll put them in the list with commas. And in my little drop down box it says you can either go 50, 50, 75 or 40, 30, 30. Why did I choose 40, 30, 30? No. Well that's, that's a sort of an interesting <laughs> relationship. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's him, her and her boyfriend, right? I was actually thinking the other 30 was the lawyer's fees, but yeah, that doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, you're the 40. Oh, damn. I knew that was a pretty... He's cheap. He's cheap, yeah. <laughs> but you can see what's happened here. It's that in my little drop-down box, I've given you three choices. You cannot put any other answer. It could be yes, no, or maybe. It could be if you're doing a tax calculation for somebody that says, is your income between zero and $10,000? 10000 to 20000 and so forth. So in my little list, I have only... This answer in the spreadsheet, there are only three possible answers. You see what I've done? But you see what's happening here? So a lot of spreadsheets where you've got the common things happening, you can have your list made up like that and then you can force people to say, this is the only answer I can get. So you can see how this pretty powerful little tool, right? Just by using these drop-down lists. And it might be, if you're an accountant, it might be depreciation rates, uh, property investor, it might be the street names or your different buildings you've got. I mean, there's all range of things because it forces people to give the same answer. Or if you're in a payroll application, you know, um, what's a Scottish name? What's a, I lost, what's a Scottish name? McJagger. There's different ways of uh, spelling it. You know, it might be a big, big M and small C, or big, a small M and a small C, and some people have big C's and small C's, and a small J and a big J. So you could put people's list names in here. This could be the list of all your employees, and you could have it so that you always spell employees' name the same way. Or it might be the different departments in your business. You know, there's the accounting department, the sales department, and marketing. So you can always only ever have those answers in your spreadsheet.